Good morning, everybody. It's Bridget. I just wanted to quickly share um, a project that I finished. It took me a couple of days. Um, this is my daughter is going to Alexa's third birthday, and um, it's a birthday banner I created using my uh, fabulous dress dies that Bona cut out for me. Thank you so much, Bona. I always think about you. I used Primas, Half Pearls, Making Memories, um, Garment Pins. I used We Are Memory Keepers, the Crocodile, and I used the Storybook Cartridge. I just want to show you quickly what I did. Um, I used right out of the front idea, only I didn't use the crown and the wand. Um, I used this uh, crown, the, um, the flower uh, monogram, and I just didn't cut it at three because it was too big. So I cut this at two and a quarter, I'm sorry, two and three quarters the bottom letter at one and three quarters and then one and a half on the top and these are all from storybook the flower and the uh, monogram um, and the glitter paper is from basil and the assorted papers are like this is green at heart i want to say this was from prima nursery rhymes and this one i think is k and company but um i'm really happy with the what the way it came out and what I also want to say is thank you Jules so much for finally finally giving me the right video to use my crop dial because I watched countless videos and it wasn't even a crop dial video that Arlene did but she used the crop dial in her video and um, it answered the very question I had right at the beginning and I'm so happy now I'm using my crop dial and I'm just so happy so, anyway, uh, I used these little trims. That one I got at Michael's, this little gold ball bead. But these trims right here were from Dana, my bottle swap partner from Yoli Bean. Um, hi, Dana. And, uh, anyway, that's my banner. I also wanted to tell you, I used miniature Primas that I glimmer misted. And for the life of me, I have every color possible except white. So I made my own, and I'm quickly going to show you how. I use this punch, which I also have. This is the 5 eighths, and I also have the 1 inch. But um, I use this blossom. And I use my Stampin' Up! Matte Pad. And I just wanted to show you... Um, I honestly if you looked at them would you know which one was prima and they are glimmer misted but would you know which one and it just so happens to be the white one and I think that it looks just as good it looks in fact I mean to me it looks just like a prima mini so what I did was I punched it out I put it on here and um, I used my stylus to just start at the middle. I went like that, pressing it in. And then I scooped out and went like that. And then I started again in the middle. And then like that, went like that. And then when you flip it over, you can go back and manipulate and do whatever you want, either with your fingers or with your stylus again. Push in the middle, you know, make it look indented so you could put anything in there, a bling or a brad. Um, so that's what I did, and I'm sorry, I don't, I think I got these online, but I don't remember where I got them. So, um, anyway, that's my banner, and I plan on making one for Gigi, but I don't know if I'm going to put Gigi or Genevieve, which is her name. Um, I'm going to see how many dress forms I have left, and if it's, if it's Genevieve, I'm going to put it side to side. Um, like a real banner. If it's Gigi, I'm going to hang it like I did here on Alexa's. And I just love this basil. It's not the bling paper. Well, the bottom shimmer paper is. You get them uh, by the piece at Michael's. I think it's called basil bling, but the top one is, um, I'm sorry, the top one might be DCWV glitter stack. Yes, that's what, exactly what it is. So the bottom one is shimmer from Basil Bling, and it comes in a million different colors. 
and this one is the DCW DCWV glitter stack I think it's called it might come in two glitter stacks two different color schemes but um but that's my project I hope you like it and I hope you comment on it or um, any suggestions on how I could further do anything to it which I don't think you know for a little girl's room I like it the way it is but maybe I'm missing something that could add just a little extra touch so uh, have a great week guys and um, thanks for watching and leaving your comments and uh, I'll see you, I'll watch you and uh, maybe I'll do another video on something if I ever complete anything like my dad banner. So um, bye.